All right, we're back again, and we are going to get started with the train epic method. Okay, define train epic self. You'll have some input. You'll have a set of target values. And training rate equals 0 0.2. We'll give it a default value. And so this method trains the network for one epic. All right. First, let's just set some stuff up. So deltas is going to be an empty list. I'm sorry, not deltas. Delta is an empty list. ln cases equals input dot shape uh, the first dimension. And previous, oh, I'm sorry, that's unnecessary right now. So these are just some local variables. Um, and now let's start to calculate our deltas. Okay, so this is back propagation after all. So I need to start at the output layer and move backwards. So for index in reversed range of self dot layer count. Um, I need to do sort of the, the same deal. So if I'm in an output layer, I need to compare the output of the current layer, which is the output layer, to the target values. Uh, otherwise, I need to compare them to the um, deltas from the layer downstream. So again, there's going to be a case where it splits uh, based on whether or not we're at the end. So if the index is the same as layer count minus one. I don't know why I keep doing that. Um, then we need to compute, or I'm sorry, I need to compare to the target values to get the deltas, okay? So output delta is going to be self dot under layer output of index, right? So this will end up being the very last one. Uh, minus target dot transpose. Oh my goodness, I completely skipped a step. <laughs> Sorry. We have to run the network first. First, run the network. First, ruin the network. That's reasonable. Uh, self dot run on input. Now you'll notice that I'm not doing any um, any transposing or anything here because the input is handled in here as expected. Target comes in in the same format as input where I have rows of input data. And so I do have to transpose it here. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so I'm just building up the algorithm. Um, this is the difference between output and target value. Now, this quantity squared, if I add all those up for all the different cases, is in fact just the error for the network. So I'm going to go ahead and save that off right now. Error equals np.sum. And I want to take output delta squared. Okay, the sum of the squares of the differences of all of these. Right, Add all of those up. That's our error. All right, so let's start building our list of deltas. So delta <coughs> dot append, and I'm going to append on the actual delta for this layer. So it's going to be this output delta, which is the difference between layer output and target, times self dot sigmoid, excuse me, evaluated at self dot under layer input for this index. So I evaluate the transfer function at this layer's, with this layer's input, except I want to pass in true here, and this is the derivative right here. So I'm going to multiply by the derivative of the transfer function evaluated at the input at this layer. So that is that delta. Now, otherwise, um, I need to compare to the following layers delta. All right, so in this case, I call it uh, delta pullback. 
right? Because I'm pulling back the deltas. And that's going to be self dot weights of index plus one. Now this is important because for the current layer that I'm on, I need to pull back the deltas from the layer downstream. And the weight matrix that connects this layer to the one downstream is attached to the next layer. So when I do this pullback, I need to take the weight matrix from the next layer, which connects them, and use that to pull it uh, back. Okay. So the weight matrix from the appropriate place. Um, I need to transpose the matrix, remember, because I'm pulling this backwards through the network instead of passing it forwards. Um, and then I'm going to dot that with uh, the last element that I've appended into our little delta. So this, this list of deltas here is a list of NumPy arrays that are, in fact, the little deltas from the algorithm. Okay. Uh, and then, now that I have the pullback, I'm going to go ahead and take that um, now remember this dot right here does the sum and the multiplying of, I'm sorry, it does the sum of the products on all that junk for us. So that's the pullback. And then I need to take that, multiply it by the derivative um, of the input to this layer, of, of the transfer function with the input to this layer. And then I can append that into my list of deltas. Okay, little wordy, I'm trying to make this fast. Okay, so delta pullback. Um, so I'm appending this stuff into the list of deltas, so this will become the most recent element. All right, so we're going to append now everything except for the last element, many rows, and this many columns. Now I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm, I'm like thinking it while I'm saying this, so it's, it's not going to be super clear, but I'll talk about it in just a second. So I need to take the deltas from the following layer. Um, I'm sorry, the delta pullback, which I just pulled back, and multiply that by the derivative of the transfer function, so self.sigmoid, uh, self.under layer input for this layer, which is correct, except I'm going to pass true to get the derivative, okay? Just like that. So what is going on with this business? Well, <coughs> remember that this weight matrix pulls, um, how should I say this? So it has an extra weight in it for the bias node. So, so this delta pullback has the delta in it for the bias node, and we're going to use that for training, except that I don't want to append that into this list of deltas because the next set of weights that I'm going to go through doesn't expect all of them, right? So I need to take all but the last row of this because the last row corresponds to the weights for the biases and I need all of the columns. Okay, hopefully that's that makes sense. I don't want to dwell on it. Okay, um, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and break the video off right here because this is just computing our deltas um, and then in the next video we'll compute the weight deltas which we'll do a little uh, NumPy broadcasting as a cheap trick um, to get it done. And then we'll do the actual updates of the weights. So that will be in the next video. Okay, later.